Hi, my name is Abhilash and you're watching Code Spectrum. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the Cauchy-Sun Integral Theorem, okay, and its residue theorem with an extension. Let's start. If a function fz is analytic around a closed curve c star, then the integral of fz is zero. It means that first of all, the first condition is the function fz should be analytic. A line integral of fz around the closed curve c star, then it is zero. And this is represented by the equation number one. The line integral around the curve c star fz dz equals zero if the function is analytic in nature. But due to some points which are called as singularities on or inside the closed curve c star, the integral violates the equation one. It means that if there are some points which are singularities inside the closed curve c star, then the integral will not be equal to zero. Okay, so thus we can figure out the residue r z at that pole. So pole is the other name of the singularities. The residue at the pole can be represented as r z equals to a. a is the pole equals to limit z tends to a and differentiation of the f z respect to d z with n minus 1 times where inside the bracket we have z minus a to the power of n into f z. Okay, so I will tell you how to solve such questions when we will figure out the uh, this example. Now, for now, the integral of f z d z along the contour or closed curve c star is equal to two pi i into residue of the pole number one plus residue of pole number two, residue of pole number three, and so on up till the nth pole. Okay. So mainly the singularities of fz is due to some equations like this, which is represented by the equation number 2. fz dz divided by z minus 1 to the power of 2, z minus 3, okay, in the de denominator. Okay, so here if we equate this uh, denominator equals to 0, it means that we have z equals to 1 twice, which is poles of order 2 and z equals to 3, a simple pole. Okay, so why there is a singularity? Because function cannot have the denominator equals to 0. So, so z cannot be 1 and z cannot be 3. And since there is a square in the top of the z minus 1, that's why we have twice poles of order 2. Okay, so let's start with the first question. The first example states that Find the value of integral fz dz if the fz equals to z upon z minus 3 is analytic in first case is z uh, equals to 2, where it is a mod here, mod or pipe operator. So it is a circle in complex form. Okay, so mainly we need to uh, make a circle first. Okay, so let's say we are taking the mod z equals to 2. So after evaluating the mod function, we have plus minus z equals to 2. So z equals to 2, comma, minus 2. So it means that the radius of the circle is outlying here 2 and minus 2. Okay, so this is a circle and where the pole lies. The pole is z equals to 3. So z equals to 3 is at outside the circle. Okay, so it may be here. Now, if you see the pole, the denominator, okay, so you can substitute uh, z minus 3 equals 0, so z equals to 3. It means that if we put the z equals to x plus i y, then 3 would be get in the other side. And also with the coefficient of 0 along with the i. Okay, so mainly, what is the coordinate here? Coordinate is 3 comma 0 for x comma y. Now you need to place this 3 comma 0 in this point. So what do you get from this point? That this point lies outside this circle. So it means we are not concerned about the point which lies outside the circle. So the answer to this problem is 0. Now let's take the second case where mod z equals to 3. 
So we have written here mod set equals 3 plus minus set equals to 3. Okay, after evaluating the mod function. So z equals to 3, comma minus 3. So we like to some modify some changes in this graph. Now taking the denominator and equating to 0 as in the similar case of the previous one, we got that the point lies on the circle. So if this point lies on the circle, so we can say that there is a residue happening here. So we have to consider this point. So residue is given by r z equals to 3. Okay, so a was 3 here. So equals to limit z tends to 3 here. Now we have this z equals to 3 as a simple pole. So we need not to differentiate any other times. So n is 1. So n minus 1 would be 0. So we will require 0 times of differentiation. So here we have z minus 3 of having single pole and fz. Okay, so we need to substitute the value of fz in this place. Okay, now we can cancel out z minus 3 and z minus 3 from the numerator and denominator. So we can neglect the differentiation operator here and we have left with the limit z tends to 3 and z. So we can replace the z with the 3. Okay, so the residue at this pole is 3. So the final integral is given by 2 pi i into the residue or the sum of residues. So in this case we have only one residue so we have placed the single residue r z equals to 3. So we can replace the value of residue in this place. So we can replace this r z equals to 3 with 3. So I left with 2 pi i into 3. So it is equal to 6 pi i. So it is the final answer. For the integral z upon z minus 3 dz where the line integral with having the closed curve as mod z equals to 3. You need to remember one thing that this pole should appear in this closed curve then we can find the residue otherwise not. Let's take another problem. In this problem first we need to think about the closed curve and draw it in a graph. So the best way and easy way to draw such graph is to make equations. So, so after evaluating the modulus by operator we can have z plus 1 equals to 2 and minus z minus 1 equals to 2. Or you can say plus minus z plus 1. So you can get two equations like this. First equation will get you z equals to 1. Second equation will make you z equals to minus 3. So you can find out the coordinate. So 1 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0. So you can place this point here and here. Okay. What is the center? You can add these two coordinates and divide it by 2. So minus 3 plus 1 by 2 gives you minus 1. 0 plus 0 divided by 0 gives you 0. This is the center of the circle and the extreme points are minus 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. So the next step is to equate the denominator equals to 0. So z square minus 4 equals 0, z equals to plus minus 2 and so two values of z are possible. So number of poles are 2 but both are simple poles. So 2 comma minus 2. Now the next step is to depict these two coordinates in this graph. So you can take the first coordinate okay, and make it possible and depict here in the graph. So you can see that 2 comma 0 lies outside the circle whereas minus 2 comma 0 lies inside the circle. So we will not consider this point because this point is lying outside the circle. So let's consider this point minus 2 comma 0 and solve further. Now we will calculate the residue of this point or pole. So the residue at z equals to minus 2. So you can take this minus 2 in the left hand side it will be z plus 2 equals 0. So z plus 2 will be written here. So how many times of differentiation we need? 0 times because it is a simple pole. Okay. So limit z tends to minus 2. Differentiation of this integral with respect to z up to 0 times and we have z plus 2 because of that pole into the fz. fz is equal to z square divided by z square minus 4. So we can cancel out z plus 2 and z uh, plus 2 from the numerator and denominator because z square minus 4 is equal to z plus 2 into z minus 2. Now you can solve this limit. Okay, now you can put this value of minus 2 in this limit. So you can get uh, 4 by minus 4. 
so it is equals to 1 for the negative sign in front okay so the final answer to this integral is equals to 2 pi i into the sum of residues so we have only single residue we can place here r z equals to minus 2 as we have already found the residue just replace the value of the residue with minus 1 in this place so 2 pi i into minus 1 so the total answer to this problem is minus 2 pi i okay let's solve this last problem here so fz equals to 1 minus 2 z dz divided by z into z minus 1 whole square z minus 2 so mainly we need to find the integral fz dz at the analytical closed curve so we have a circle having the radius of 3 and its origin is 0 comma 0 mainly we have uh, four poles where we have 1 comma 1 so 1 is having a pole of order 2 and all 0 and 2 is having a simple pole so all these poles are inside this circle so we need to consider all of them and we need to find the residue at each of the pole so let's figure out the residue at z equals to 0 so it is given by this one limit z tends to 0 differentiation how many times it is 0 times because it is a simple pole so we can write z minus 0 here okay implicitly so into 1 minus 2 z divided by z into z minus 1 whole square z minus 2 we can cancel out z and z from both the numerator and denominator and we can just put the limit here okay so we get minus half okay also if we consider this uh, residue for z equals to 1 we can uh, write like limit z minus uh, z tends to 1 okay differentiation of uh, this whole term up till 1 times because it is having a pole of order 2 so so when you differentiate a uh, single time okay so we have this uh, term to be cancelled from both the numerator and denominator and we can have this partial fraction so you can figure out the differentiation right so you can uh, break down this term of z and z minus 2 into partial fraction like this and you can take the single term and differentiate it all okay so you don't need to worry about it lastly you put the limit z equals to 1 so you can get the value of 2 and also you need to find the residue for z equals 2 same as the previous case where we have done the z equals to 0 okay just cancel out this term with this term and we can put the limit z equals 2 okay now you can put the z equals 2 here so you will get minus 3 by 2 so you can add up all the residues minus half plus 2 plus minus 3 by 2 and put here okay at the last and you can multiply the whole term with the 2 pi i so we get 0 because this whole term is 0 so the resultant uh, equations value should be 0 okay so you can also consider that the combination of poles can result uh, to a 0 integral okay so in the previous case we have done that uh, Cauchy's integral theorem will get you the integral of 0 when the functional analytic but also in this case instead of having the poles we can get the combination in such a way that the resultant integral will become 0 okay so that's it thank you for watching and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel we'll see you next time thank you